It's so exciting. Some of the biggest names in entertainment teaming up to breathe new life into a New York story. Chaz Palminteri, Robert De Niro, Jerry Sachs, and Tommy Mottola bringing a Bronx tale to Broadway. Began in 1993 as a film based on Chaz's life growing up in the Bronx, a story about a young man caught between the guidance of his protective dad and the neighborhood mob boss who takes him under his wing. The musical written by Chaz, Robert, and Jerry are co-directors. Tommy is its lead producer. Gentlemen, good morning. So good morning. nice to see you guys. Chaz, did you ever imagine this story as told with music? I, you know what? We talked about it very early on. We, we said if there are, if it comes to a time that we, you know, we did the one-man show, we did a movie, we said that, wow, this would make a great music because the themes are so operatic mm -hmm. about love and father and love and hate, and it's so relevant today. When you first saw this in the 80s, Bob, as the one-man yeah. show, what was it that, that attracted you and said, I, I want to make a movie out of this? I, I just thought it would be uh, something that, that I could add something to as, mm -hmm. as a film. And uh, so I spoke to Chaz, I saw the show, spoke to him, and we slowly got it going. It took a couple of years because of other commitments I had also, even the negotiation and yeah. getting that and this and Well, so. Bob grew up in a neighborhood very similar to mine. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm 187th in Belmont, and Bob grew up downtown in Little Italy. So he, Bob really knew the milieu and how to do it. And, and Jerry, uh, did you ever think about doing this as a drama, or was it always in your mind a musical? Well, I did the one-man show with Chaz uh, in 89 or something, was it? 90 yes. something? Yeah. And that was wonderful, a wonderful experience. And then when the opportunity came up to do it as a musical, it just seemed a natural, you know? Yeah. So. And, and Tommy, you, you usually work in, in concerts and things like this. What, what was it like being involved musically as far as Broadway? I always thought that, uh, you know, this story was such a great story that it, would, it had the ability to transfer as a musical. And we were blessed with having really talented people uh, like Bob, Jerry, Chaz, uh, Sergio, and Alan Menken, oh, wow. our composer, yeah. and Glenn Slater, write a wonderful score. And not only did you bring a cast and all this music, but you brought cannolis from <laughs> Gino, <laughs> the cannoli king. The cannoli king from Gino's That's pastry. Right. Take the cannoli, leave the gun. All yeah. right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, take the gun, leave the cannolis. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of A Bronx Tale. New York. I'm on the corner of 187th and Belmont Avenue. This was my neighborhood. I can still hear a million voices in my head, hear a million stories. I can hear the church bells and smell the freshly baked bread. I see the storefront awnings, the neon green, white, and red. Cannolis on tray after tray. Salami strung up on display And the Italians are all that you see Oh, oh, and the street starts sighing Oh, oh, and the girls start by in a group Come on, come on, Run come right on. past the front Come on, come on, come on, come on Take fuck in the can Put your feet in the sand Find a girl and cop a feel Every time the 
Terrific. Guys, thank you so very much. A big thank you to the cast, Johnny Matola, Chas Pondentieri, of course, Robert De Niro, Jerry Zachs, thank you so much. A Bronx Tale playing at the Long Acre Theater now and for a long time to come. We're back in a moment. But first, this is today on NBC. Yeah.